fun. Well, I, I am John Moorhead, and I am the corporate innovation entrepreneur for Nelnet as part of our uh, innovation hub. So Nelnet is a uh, publicly traded company that's focused highly in the educational market, and then we're also heavily involved in some of our angel investments as well. So we are invested in um, you know fifty plus companies across the country that have some sort of niche either in the in the Midwest or specifically in the educational markets. Uh, my name is Daniel. I am the co-founder and CEO at Delivery. Uh, Delivery is a B2B logistics as a service provider that empowers small businesses with on-demand delivery personnel. So in other words, uh, businesses are using our service to deliver their goods. Uh, we're currently focusing on restaurant industry and we have uh, 20 partner restaurants and do average of 150 delivery a day. Um, so my question was, how do I manage and maintain a uh, strict Strategic, well, sorry, <laughs> strategic uh, uh, partnership while hiring to scale um, business development. Definitely, definitely. So, you know, my background comes from strategic partnerships. So I've managed you know, partnerships in, in a lot of different industries. In particular, you know, when I look at a partnership, I look at it from really two two different uh, types of partners: either a reseller or a referral. Um, and typically, if you're coming in as a as a reseller. You know, that partner is the one going to be doing the billing, going to be doing the selling, um, and they're really kind of the face. Uh, some people would refer to it as a white label, but if you guys have, you know, built up a strong enough brand, um, then they're most likely not going to want to uh, white label that. And it's a referral or arrangement. You know, they're really just helping get you in, in the door, and then you're the one that is kind of completing the sale or, you know, getting it across the finish line. Um and then ultimately, there's a less revenue share. Um, so when I look at partnerships in, in general, it's all it's all about that revenue share. So I know I have to know what my margins are, and I have to know how I'm going to get the, a larger market share because they have um, they're bringing some to the table. And usually, if, if if it's a startup, you know the the one partner uh, is is most likely bringing in a sales force, bringing in um, you know just feet on the streets, um, smiler smiler and dialers, if you will. Um, that are going to help you build up your, your customer base at a lower cost. Um, and that's that's ultimately, when I look at partnerships, that's uh, you know the, the number one thing uh, is what is everybody bringing to the table. I also think um, your gut is going to tell you a lot of things as well. Um, you're going to know the partners that are the, the ones that have your best interest because uh, you know, the old adage, everybody has to bleed, but everybody else has to get along as well. And I think it, when you're working on a, a contract as a, as a partner, you know, figuring out ways to, uh, you know, just make sure that everybody's best intentions are in mind. The contract is not is not the thing that makes you do business together. What makes you do business together is you both enjoy working together. Um, and typically, when I do a, a partnership deal, it's it's typically a, a three plus one, so three years auto renewal at one year, uh, with the ability to kind of cancel at any time. Um, the other thing that there some some bigger partners are going to want to do is, is to have some sort of kind of code repository or, or um, you know something of that nature if, if they're a, a technology uh, partner. Um, but really, for you, it, it's it's making sure that you're you're finding the partner that's going to get into the markets that you want to get, but that they're also not treating you as a, a technology startup, if you will. Um, you know, make sure it's a, it's an equal partnership. Um, and that you both are bringing things to the table, um, you know. Because, so like, when you when you have partnerships today, what kind of companies are you going after? So we're currently right now mostly individual restaurants we're going after currently. Uh, but we also like shifted our focus to uh, ordering platforms such as Chow Now, um, E24, Delivery dot com. So I'm trying to go after those big guys who has thousands of restaurants already, so I don't have to go after one by one. Good. And have you had some some reception to? I mean, some reception back from those guys. Yeah, so um, we actually just about to start working with uh, Food Junkie, uh, that's based in Chicago, um, and uh, we got reached out from uh, Chow now, but they have like over five hundred restaurants, and they kind of figured out we're a small company, so they never really applied back again. Gotcha. So, so you know, and you're going to find that. Um, you know, the biggest thing is. If, for your, your position is to just get out there and do some networking. I mean, for me, um, and the partnership roles that I've had, is getting into the opportunity for face-to-face -face and building that relationship. You know, I've, I've worked with a, you know, 
as, as part of a Fortune 500 company, I've worked with startups with you know 10 people or less. And I look at it as a, as a long-term game, um, especially when it comes to if there's any integration, anything of that nature that, that needs to be taken. But if you're really just trying to get access to a, a customer list or to a, a, a restaurant um, pool, you know, to me, you know, the, the more conversations you can have, the more people are going to be able to think of you as a strategic long-term play uh, when it comes to, you know, I'm doing this because I, I see your guys' growth potential and, and I'm able to be part of a, a, a cool young technology. Um, I've never asked a, a partner to be exclusive. Um, I don't think, um, you know, in, until you get to a, a specific size where it just makes makes um sense from a a strategic or from a legal perspective but to me um, i think you can have multiple multiple partnerships Um, you can have um, competing partners and kind of let the the market uh, make the decision for you and i think at some point um, if if you're really active in the partnership game you're really your your play at that point is you know either this this company that i'm partnering with that's that's larger than us is either going to acquire us or they're going to invest in us um, you know, and, and, and that's okay to have that, have that vision and have that conversation up front. Um, I think the biggest thing for you though, is, is, you know, having as many of these partnership conversations as you can, because going to individual restaurants one-on-one is, is, it's, it's time consuming. It's not an easy way to scale. Um, you know, the, the, the I wouldn't focus just on, on those type of food delivery too. I'd also focus on ownership groups that maybe own, you know, a specific type of, of restaurant, you know, maybe have 5, 10, 15 restaurants. Um, and that way it's another way for you to scale in a partner uh, without having to go necessarily to a, somebody that maybe you use a better or may not. So, I mean, those are, those are some of the initial thoughts. But like I said, you know, when it comes to, it comes to partnerships, it's a, it's, it's a full-time, it's a full-time job, um, you know, getting out there and, and, you know, looking at the different opportunities and, uh, you know, looking at what type of a, a revenue share makes sense. Um, so like I said, back to the two type of models that we've done from a referral or a reseller, uh, you know, typically on a reseller, you know, I've seen revenue share from, you know, 35 to 55 uh, percent, whereas I've seen on a referral agreement, you know, anywhere from really 10 to 25 and, um, you know, typically I would also do a scale. So in other words, for the first X number of restaurants, you're going to get this revenue share as, as you grow together. So I always kind of, I always kind of say, you know, we're going to grow the business together and, you know, the bigger, the bigger partner is going to help you grow as a startup. And, you know, after you get to 50, 50 restaurants, I'm going to give you more revenue share because you've helped me grow the business and scale it. Um, and then, you know, you could do multiple tiers. I've done, uh, uh, contracts that had you know, up to 10 different tiers, uh, which is, you know, more of a SaaS model, but it at least gave you the ability to grow with them. Um, you know, and, and I think that it, that shows good, uh, a good heart and, and on both sides because you understand, you know, you're helping uh, the startup scale, but you're also as a business growing with them. So thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.